In breaking down molecules such as those in food, enzymes don't operate alone. Water is also involved through a process called hydrolysis. For example, milk contains a double sugar called lactose that consists of two simple sugars, glucose and galactose. The enzyme that breaks down lactose into its simple sugars is called lactase. In the presence of water, the enzyme lactase splits lactose into two products, glucose and galactose. These products themselves may break down further in a series of steps involving other enzymes. Glucose is particularly important because it is an energy-rich compound that is the body's major fuel. Before the energy in glucose can be used, however, glucose must first undergo a series of chemical reactions in the cell. This process is called cellular respiration and it requires many different enzymes. For the most part, cellular respiration takes place in bodies in the cell called mitochondria. The inside of a mitochondrion is organized into long inward folding folds that provide an efficient space for enzymes to work. It is here that the chemical reactions that provide most of the cell's energy occur. In assembly line fashion, series of different enzymes perform different steps in a process whose final result is the formation of molecules of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. It is ATP that ultimately provides cells with energy.